I'm with director Michael Dowes, who has resurrected the outrageous duo from his cult comedy yeah, hit. Oh, there you go! Yeah. How does a guy with an MBA from Yale end up directing not one, but two movies about uh, beer drinking metalheads? I backlashed against my wealthy upbringing in and, uh, and Yale and said, I want to explore the salt of the earth. No, real story. He can't be all that bad. With no money making a film uh, years ago, did you ever think that you would be at the Toronto International Film Festival with a sequel? No, I mean, no, not at all. I mean, definitely once the film came out and found its legs and the audience grew, there was definitely a call to, be a, to do a sequel. But no, I, I mean, no. I mean, we had very low expectations on the first one. We just, all I really wanted to do was make a really funny movie. How big is this festival for a film like yours? It's important. It's, it's great to screen a film like this with a hometown crowd and you get that advantage on your screening. What do you think the connection is with a, with a, with a lot of folks to uh, Terry and Diener? I think the, the first and foremost thing is the comedy. I think it's just that they're so funny. Yeah. That That's always a connection. If you find somebody funny, you're immediately drawn to them. I think beyond that, there's a great friendship between the two guys, which is there in real life that I think is translates very well onto the screen. The thing about the success of the first one is it, it does open doors to you. Like yeah. when as soon as you say it's for FUBAR 2, mm -hmm. you know, people people's ears prick up. They're much more interested. Um, and having more money allows you to do the scale of things to be bigger. So it's a bit of a trade-off, you know. Not really regret, but something I would have liked to have done more is do more of the, the ambush stuff that, with real people that we did in the first one that we tried to do in Fort Mac, but it's A, it's minus 35, and B, it's like everybody knows who they are. We're coming up with a giver. We're going to, you know, say, you turn the suck down. Uh, how, do you, how do you come up with that stuff? What, where, where does that come don't from? come up with that stuff. <laughs> That's Paul Spence. <laughs> no, I mean, yeah, it's improv. We don't write a thing of dialogue. It's like, Are you ever uh, my, my hand in it is, is selecting it and making sure and editing it, yeah. you know, and, and like directing it to a certain degree. Knowledge of non-knowledge is power. Is there a possibility that we're going to see a FUBAR 3? In a third dimension, maybe even. <laughs> we shall see, or a fourth. Could we ever see Terry and Diener, you know, going to Toronto, perhaps? Well, that would be going down the road. <laughs> I don't think so. I think if anything, we could, we would be going to Europe or something. Yeah. I think that's where we could do something pretty under the radar and something pretty funny.